you indeed with you. Holy Circle Gaming. Thank you for rocking with your boy like always. Definitely a privilege and an honor to do as such. Y'all see what we're getting into. We back at it. Marvel Puzzle Quest continuing the series. We're going to do this nice, short, sweet, and to the point. But before we get into it, yo, I didn't forget about you. I've been in the lab working on some other footage for some other games I've been playing and banging away on, so I'm cracking on that too. So I didn't forget about you. Just to let y'all know what's upcoming real fast, we got that space season upcoming. Y'all see that cracking? That's going to be starting in a matter of an hour on my time. If you're on the East Coast, you should already be up and jumping at this point in time. If not, y'all should be jumping fairly shortly. So that's what's cracking right now. But I tell you what we really need to get into. Don't forget to do your Deadpool dailies. If you were banging on that Prodigal Sun event, you got that cracking. You got the system reboot happening right in about an, uh, maybe about an hour or so, a little bit less than that. But this is what we're going to get into immediately. Alliance event, Galactus Hungers. Um, this one gives you a chance at twofold. It gives you a chance at that, um, gives you a chance at what? The five star Daredevil and the three star Electra. Gives you a couple of cracks at those. Um, I wasn't really in like a big thing to chase after him, but I'm definitely going to get into it and get some gameplay. I'm going to use that uh, Doctor Strange, of course. Um, let's go ahead and do... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's go uh, Cyclops and let's go... Let's go Cyclops, let's go... Uh, ooh, we'll do that. We'll go, we'll go Cyclops and... Um, Iron Fist, and we'll go Doctor Strange just to kind of keep everything moving real fast. We'll go with that those three combos. Now, I completely forgot um, what I needed to do in order to um, take them down. Uh, this is not the first time they had this event, but it's been a it's been a minute. I ain't gonna front. So, what I need to do, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, start banging away, get these reds cracking right here. Uh, let's go ahead and get this one out the way there. Oh, I believe, oh yeah, yeah, I, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, okay. There was a reason why I did this uh, setup, because I need the reds to kind of generate and maybe hit some of these lines away. And then what we're going to do here, we're going to take these blacks right here. What I think the objective, if I'm not mistaken, is to get these little countdown tiles out the way, do some damage to them in the process. Uh, I don't have nothing red cracking, let's do this. Hopefully that drops the right way. Didn't drop exactly like I thought it would. Uh, great machines. He's going to get this one off. Um, convert two cosmic tiles and do some damage. That's what he's going to do. He's going to get that off pretty cleanly. Let's go ahead and get this red one cracking right here. Yeah, that, yeah that's not bad. That's not bad. We're okay. Well, okay, I don't have nothing purple that I can use right now, so the team-up tiles was the way to go there. So it's going to do a little bit of damage, not not anything crazy, but I could go ahead and go Optic Blast real fast. And go ahead and get him out the way. Real nice, quick, easy, to the point. But this is the very beginning. This, if I'm not mistaken, this event just started. So if you're rocking with your alliance right now, you better get, your, you better get on your threads, get on your boards. Tell your peoples to go ahead and let's get cracking and start banging away on this pretty quickly. Um, I got two Galactus coins, which I will go ahead and pull those pretty shortly. Um, just to let you know what's cracking. Uh, my team is already on round two, so we got the Blade cracking there. Doctor Strange there. Spider-Man there. Hawkeye there. And Wolverine there. So I think I can actually get all five working pretty fluidly. Let's go ahead and rock with the... Uh, Let's go with the three-star Wolverine. We'll go Wolverine. Uh, let's go Wolverine, Hawkeye. Let's go Wolverine, Hawkeye, and Blade. We'll do that. That's fine. Wolverine, Hawkeye, Blade is what we're going to roll with here. And let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and get this four out the way. I know it would have set, set him up for a pretty decent blue shot, but it's okay. Um, I really should have probably went after that blue initially, but it's alright. I'm not too, too worried about it. Um, in the lower levels, you can kind of bang through these pretty quickly if you're kind of moving along. 
Uh, he's going to turn those to green. And I don't have nothing to kind of utilize those greens, I don't think. Red there. Let's do this. Let's go green there. Uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and go red here. Go ahead and get him out the way. I know it's going to set up that four, but I'm not really too concerned about that four because he takes those automatically anyway. We're going to do the black here so I can at least um, get ready to take out Dakin with the next play. Yep, take out Dakin with the next play. Let's go ahead and spin this right here. He's going to take the purples, which I could have used those purples, but it's cool. I'm not really tripping. Let's get these blues. Gravity warp, what it's gonna probably do is gonna probably move one of these strike tiles. Yep, exactly. Move the strike tile. Not a big deal at all. Come and go ahead and go with this green here. Um, I could go green, but I'm actually gonna go yellows in this instance. Go ahead and take the four, take the easy play. Nice, quick, and easy. So when you're in the lower levels, um, everything is real nice, quick, and easy. It's not really hard to kind of progress along early. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and bang away. Give you one more Galactus on a round two shot. Um, I really need to kind of um, run through these pretty um, pretty fast. Not for anything else. Um, I want to make sure that um, we get some cover pull action in real fast. And let's go ahead and do this. Let's uh, where where that uh. That one's right there, and let's go ahead and go with, um, um, you know what, let's go with this Wolverine, that's cool, we'll go with that one, doesn't matter, it really didn't matter which, um, all, all this should go relatively fast anyway, uh, what do you do, the green play there, that's fine, we'll go yellow, yellow's cool, then the next play I'm going to make here, he's going to pop that yellow down. So I'll play another yellow here, just to get that out the way. Um, ideally, what I would want to do, I want to get some purples in there. But I think the way it's current, the board is currently kind of constructing for me, is really constructing for me to get these um, yellows and get these reds off pretty quick. So I will do that. Let's go and get these first. Great machine, that's fine. I'm not tripping. He's gonna take me out with a couple there. So let's do this. Let's um let's go mutant revolutionaries. Hopefully it gets one of those two. It didn't. It didn't. That's not a horrible play by any stretch though, because it's gonna give me a couple of cascade tile drops there. He'll hit me for some damage. Not much. 77 damage is really not gonna do anything. I'm gonna go ahead and play the red here. Then he'll get one more play off, but it's not going to matter because I have Optic Blast. It was really just a matter of just getting my reds up really quick. Once I got the reds up really fast, it was really easy pickings from there. So, real nice, easy, quick. You see how quickly I'm kind of playing through these on the lower on the lower tiers. Um, our squad is actually should be closer to uh, getting up to round three. So, I know I got to start banging away and start working on that as a squad. Uh, do I want to give y'all one more? Uh, let's do this. Let me go ahead and go with the Doctor Strange shot real fast. We'll go Doctor Strange. Um, doesn't really matter who I rock with him, really. Um, let's do... Let's do this. We'll go, we'll go with those two. Doesn't really matter which two I went with because they're such such lower tiers. You really want to start thinking about that when you're playing the Galactus. When you start getting into like round four and five is really when you when you really want to start thinking about these type plays like who you should pair up. Right now, if you have pretty decent three stars, it's not gonna really matter who you pair up as you well see. You kind of see how swiftly I'm kind of moving through how swiftly I'm moving through these boards. It's not really taking me long to do much of anything. So, realistically, I could kind of, if I had enough time, I could actually re-up and kind of do all five of mines in a matter of like ten minutes. But I'm not, because I definitely want to get in some cover pulls. But I definitely want to let y'all see real fast 
you know, what was going on as far as, like, the Galactus tournaments. So you see how easy it is. If you got some decent three stars, a couple of good four stars, um, it's actually going to be really beneficial for you. So that's what's going on there. So I definitely wanted to give you all a quick look at that. That's the Galactics Hungers event going on. System Reboot's going to be following up shortly, so you can probably double dip. Um, this cage match is going to be starting off, so if you're going to start off your versus season the right way, this is probably not a bad way to do it. But what I need to do real fast is go ahead and uh, get these cover pulls going. Um, prior to doing that, y'all can see my squad real fast. Y'all see I'm about 69 players deep. No real changes made to the roster as of late. Um, everything has been the same. Um, nothing, nothing really pressing. Um, I still got the Punishers in the hold. I need to kind of figure out what I want to do with. Y'all see I'm kind of sticking with some two stars. Um, shout, out to my, shout out to my thread. They said to maybe start swapping in and out some two stars. So I would definitely keep that in consideration. Um, what I'm doing my pulls now. So I'm going to definitely put some two stars on ice. Um, and see which one I can kind of swap in and out for the time being. So that makes some sense, especially when I'm progressing levels. I got 8 in the Taco Vault, in which we'll talk about that momentarily. Um, I got 2 in the Galactus Hunger, so I'll let y'all see what that looks like as well. Um, I got 8 in the Heroic, 17 in the Elite, and 22 in the Standard. Hold tight for me for a quick second. Alright, we back? Very good. So, while we do that real fast, let's go ahead and get into these standards real quick. So, the standards shouldn't be too, too crazy. Um, mainly is in the standards now, I'm going to actually hold whatever two stars I have. If I have one that doesn't match up to what's already there. Um, because there is, because my team did make a point, you know, if you really want to go ahead and like raise your ranking up, um, shifting out two stars is the quickest way to do it. They're not wrong. Um, and that's one of those um, quick tips that I have to pass along. So if you're definitely watching along, you know, definitely um, keep some two stars in rotation. Now, whether you sell some off and rebuild them up, however way you go about it is cool. But if you want to move up your rankings pretty fast. Um, swapping around your two stars, champing them out, fully maxing them out, then selling them and going through the process again is not a bad idea, believe it or not. It really isn't. And then when you get so many free shots in the standards to get some two stars, um, that's definitely something that you want to consider. Now, y'all see how I've been pulling? I haven't really pulled any two stars. I pulled everything one star so far, but the elite is where I'm going to get the majority of my two stars anyway. But I would rather get more three stars out of my elites than two stars, and I really don't want to see a bunch of one stars either. But that's all I've been looking at. I didn't get not one two, not one three star at all. Everything has been one star right now. So, and it's crazy because I haven't pulled in about a week, um, maybe a slight bit more. So I didn't really pull. That's my first two star there. So I didn't really pull too much uh, throughout the week. I've been trying to hold them so I could get enough so I could make sure I do this cover pull for all of you. And nothing really special out of my two-star arrangement. Really isn't. Two two-stars coming out of the out of the standard packs, which is eh. I really wish I would have got more maybe to the tune of like four or five, especially something that's different like a Hawkeye or somebody that I could actually maybe utilize. But we'll see. Here's where we're going to get our two stars, but really what I'm looking for here are some threes. I really need some three stars, like right off top. There go that Dakin right there, right back. Um, I'm still I'm still thinking about that Dakin, y'all. I mean, it just, dog, I mean, I know Dakin is official. I know, but it's just he doesn't work for me. He does not work for me. Every time I try to rock with Dakin, it just does not work out to my liking. I think what I'll do... Maybe I'll tinker with it from the two-star perspective again, and then if I really like him in a two-star perspective, I may get him, you know, maybe utilize him in a three. We'll see. I just wasn't overly gassed about having Dinkin on my squad. I'm still not a big fan of him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I like Wolverine better, and I know, shout out to my room who said Wolverine and Dinkin together makes all the sense in the world. Facts. 
but I don't like bacon. He doesn't work for me. I don't know why. He just doesn't work. And I understand he stays on his feet for a long period of time. And with Thor, I mean with um, Wolverine, he makes all the sense in the world. So maybe I'll. T I, I don't know. It's just it's just maybe just a thing with me and Dakin. I'm not 100% sure, but that's just me. Anywho, we're still pulling through a bunch of two stars that I already have. No, no two stars that are really out of the ordinary. Really needed that three star storm. That actually worked out pretty well. Too bad it didn't double up. That's a Wolverine that I already have. Moonstone, not big on Moonstone either. That's another card I wasn't really big on at all. Another storm there. Oh, a hood. Will you double up? You will double up. Thank you, because I needed you, Hawkeye. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, in the heroics, what we really need out of these heroics is a four star. Really need a four star. That's a two there. That's that, uh, Captain Marvel. Actually, I like Captain Marvel as a two star. I, I got a lot of play. That's a three. We'll take that three. Loki. I could upgrade my Loki. I really could use that right now. Two star there. Hawkeye. I think I got enough to maybe move Hawkeye Bulls. I wanted it to. That's another Ares there. That's another Dakin there. So at least the two stars are coming pretty evenly. That's that four star I was looking for. That's that four star I was looking for. Let's go. Ooh, I actually need it. You know what? I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Uh, I would have to go back to my older vi I had to go back to my videos. I think Iceman was the very first four star that I pulled that I actually put on the line. And I just now got another four star Iceman. Just now got one, but I'm so happy about that, so I could actually attempt to give my Iceman some run, but I couldn't give it no run with just two covers. That's facts. But I'm so happy I got that Iceman. That's a very, very good pull. Now, in the Galactus Hunger, uh, the Galactus Hungers event, um, I guess this is going to play basically like, um, like a heroic tokens, you know, shots at two stars. You got the two chances at the Hawkeye, it looks like. Uh, with the three star, it looks like you got a five a five times chance at the Doctor Strange. Four stars, uh, you got more odds at the Yondu, Vulture, Sandman, Rockin' and Groot. I could love, love to get a Rockin' and Groot, to be honest with you. Uh, Mockingbird, Mordo, um, the new school Iron Fist, Gamora. I could use another Gamora, too. A Cloak and Dagger would be cool. A Captain Marvel four star would be cool. A lot of good things in there that's potential. A lot of good potential in there, at least for my squad. I don't know how it is for yours, but for my squad, it's a lot of potential. So, I mean, dog, a four would be phenomenal. Ah, a bunch of twos, though. bunch of twos. I'm not, I mean, I can't be mad because, you know, you're not supposed to get anything super special, but dog. Now, in the Taco Vault, um, Invisible Woman's up in there. You got that new school blade up in there, the four star. The token is always dangling in there. The three star Captain Marvel is up in there. You got Iron Man in there, Iron Fist in there, Ragnarok in there. Um, uh, skip the name real fast. Kamala Khan up in there as well. And then who else do we have to chase for? You got a Cyclops, a Loki, um, an extra shot at um, Kamala Khan. So an extra shot at. Um, at Ragnarok, so definitely a couple of good things that you could get out of there. So you know, I guess at this juncture everything's official. I can't really say otherwise, cause you know, with the way the pools are jumping off right now, I mean, Hawkeyes are good. You know, everything's official now. Because I'm a definitely I, at first two stars wasn't official. I'd rather get an ISO eight versus that. But I'm gonna take my t I'm gonna take the room's advice and kind of rock with the room on this one and start flipping in some two stars, and that's a good um. That's a good top pull there. I could use that for my upcoming versus event. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all. Um, on my versus, um, on the monthly, I did wind up being 167 or somewhere in that area. So I did pretty well. Not extremely great. I wasn't in the top 100, but I did pretty well considering. 
um, the last couple of months I was in like the thousands or whatever so to be in the top like 100 150 as far as like the monthly is concerned was definitely a good look so I was actually pretty happy with that so going pure versus mode and not really dealing with story mode was a good look for me um, I don't know if that will work out for all of you because I know there's a lot of good things in the story mode that y'all could play after as well um, but it worked out for me pretty well. It's definitely not a bad look. That's the way I was able to get a bunch of those um, heroic coins. That's for sure. Really would have wished I would have gotten a top 50. Because I could have got that 10 pack shooting. Another Wolverine there. Everything has been bottom end though. I can tell you that. Everything is really bottom ended. Not the only thing I got top end was those health packs. Which is I know it's not cons truly considered a true top end. But the one I did grab was considered top end. That's a top end pool there. That Iron Man. That's a three, three star Iron Man that could definitely get some use. Let's get that coin though. Can we get the coin? Ah, storm right there. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. I'm not mad at all. That was definitely a pretty, pretty decent run. I got a lot of things in the hole. So let's first of all take a look at a few things. Nope, don't want to do that. Let's do all the one stars you want to shoot off. Those are 21 stars that I have. All the two stars. I'm just going to sell the ones that I already have on my rotation. So Wolverine, Storm, and Magneto is who I have in my rotation as well as Store. So we're going to sell those off. It was a lot of Magnetos, though. Jeez. We'll sell those off. We'll sell that Thor off right now. A lot of Magnetos. Jeez. I probably should have kept them, but it's all well. It's all as well. Sounds okay. So that Magneto as well. We'll sell that Thor. Wow. It was a lot of Magnetos. Jeez. So I got a few Aries. Um. Storm, we'll take Storm off. Wow, um, couple of Hawkeyes, couple of Bullseyes, and a couple of um, Captain Marvel. I may rock with that. I may put Bullseye or Captain Marvel in there. I wanted to. We'll switch somebody out and get a Captain Marvel in there. Um, three stars. Let's see what we got working. Um, let's go ahead and add a level to Iron Man. Get some, get some coins. Let's get Loki cooking there. Get him working a little bit. Let's go ahead and get that Hawkeye working. I believe that should put me a little bit closer. Uh, he's at 140. A little bit closer with him. Um, I got to upgrade that Hood too. And that Storm. And that Ragnarok. Uh, yeah, I, gotta, I may have to think about that Hood sometime soon. Because I got two covers of hood that I could definitely uh, work out as well. So, something to consider. So, I definitely want to work those two out at some point. Um, think about that Punisher, maybe popping them into the line as well. Oh, where is Iceman? That's what I want to put in. I want to put that Iceman in there for sure. So, at least I got one of each on my Iceman. Uh, Iceman considered one of the best of the four stars for sure. So, definitely not mad at that at all. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and pull. Let's go ahead and recruit. Let's go ahead and pull a couple of these as well. Let's go ahead and get one classic. Let's get one classic. Let's get a classic four. Classic four is not mad. That's that Captain Marvel. Yep, 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 yep. We'll take that. We'll take that. And then let's do one latest. Is that cool with y'all? One classic, one latest. Another four star there. I'm not really mad if it's something that matches up. Riri Williams, okay, okay, okay. I'm not mad because I actually got her kind of cooking right now. So um, I'm not. I don't think that she's a overall super official cover, but she's she's actually working her way up the boards though. So, but that Captain Marvel gets some run though. That's for sure. That's for sure, for sure. Um, executive decision. Um, let's do that. Let's do um, energy manipulation. I'm cool with that. I need that photonic barrage, though. I could really utilize that. Let's go ahead and upgrade her as well. 
But yeah, that's where we are, family. So I definitely want to give y'all a little bit of gameplay real fast. Give y'all some pulls and whatnot. So I definitely appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. It's definitely an honor to have you. Um, if y'all have any suggestions, I'm definitely open to take them. I got some other footage I'm putting on the board as well. So look out for that. Um, I got some more Marvel Puzzle questions. So I will see y'all probably get some more Galactus Hungers in there as well. So definitely appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, man. Y'all know who I am. I'm Mr. True Indeed, of course. Y'all know who I represent. It's the Holy Spirit. Circle Gaming, like always, is God above everything. Till the next time, family, we'll do it again soon. Salute.